The following information and opinions expressed on the Sweet Divorce podcast do not constitute nor are intended to be taken as legal advice. All content is generalized and for informational purposes only. Please contact our legal team or your own attorney for advice specific to your particular case. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to Sweet Divorce Podcast from Burgos Santoyo Smith. I am Rosario Burgos Santoyo, and this is my partner, Gretel Smith. And today we are going to talk about social media and your family law matter. We'll help pick up the pieces one by one. Information straight from the source. It's sweet divorce. So, Rosario, the reason why I wanted to do this one is because you sent me a YouTube video over the weekend. Yes, I did, Gretel. And um, this particular YouTube video was a YouTuber who was going through a divorce and decided to post about her court process to her viewers. Now, this is not a good idea. Upon further investigation, Gretel and I did see that there's a restraining order in this case. We don't know if the video prompted this restraining order or if she is now in violation of the restraining order. However, we do know that if she were our client, we would advise her not to have done this. Absolutely. And I personally did a little digging and we're not going to say where this case was, but it does look like that person has a restraining order against them. And my personal thing is if you have a restraining order against you and you're posting about your significant other on social media about the whole process, you're potentially violating that restraining order. And that's a bad thing. Right. Because if you post negatively about your significant other, then that could be seen as harassment, which is considered in many cases to be domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Domestic violence is not only hitting or yelling. It's also um, harassment. Disparging that party is harassment and it right. definitely could rise to that level. It does, doesn't always do that. But it also, if you're in a custody dispute, if you're fighting for custody and you guys are having that battle, We'll just call it what it is, right? A battle sometimes. And you're posting on social media. Those posts, even if you delete it, someone's going to save it and it's going to come out in your case and it's not going to look good for the person who posted. The court's going to say, you don't seem to want to co-parent with that parent. And is this in the best interest of your child to be disparaging or saying negative things about the other parent? It's another thing because mm -hmm. we realize in this day and age, it's very common to post about everything that you're experiencing in your life. And obviously a family law case is affecting your life right now. Um, so people post about dinner. They post about their kids' baseball games or soccer games or basketball games. They post about their vacations and um, their, you know, what they do on the weekend right. or their home projects. Don't post about your divorce case as much as you want to. Never. Because it's also, it's not a good thing. You can't control who's going to see what you post. Mm -hmm. And whenever you're posting something anyway, you should always picture having that post read in open court by a judge who's deciding where your kids are going to stay, how much you're going to get in support, and many other significant issues that are important to you. You don't want to negatively affect your case because you're trying to get something off your chest. Absolutely. And if you feel the need to you know, spill that tea to somebody, find a team of people. When you are starting a divorce proceeding or you're going and having this custody dispute, Find some people that you can trust, a therapist, a friend, a family member, an attorney, get a team of people around you. We all have certain roles. The attorney's there to help represent you and guide you through this process and try to help you get what you, you know, what you're asking for. The therapist should be there to help you process these emotions that you're going through, right? right. And that friend and family member, they should be your sounding board. Somebody that you can just, you're upset, you're going to go through all these feelings of emotions, use that friend and family. And hopefully they're aware that that's what their purpose is as your team. Say, designate them. You're going to be the person I call at 3 a.m. when I am having just a full-on meltdown. Yes. Talk me right? off the ledge. Talk yeah. me off that ledge. Right. I'm going to need that help through this process. Find those people. And if you don't have those people, there are support groups that you can reach out to. Find a good therapist that might be able to recognize, like send you to some uh, groups of people who are going through the same thing you are so that you have somebody else to talk to. Or find a therapist that'll help you get coping skills when you're Absolutely. feeling that frustrated. 
what can you do other than vent on Facebook? You, you know, maybe you can garden, take mm -hmm. up a hobby, do something else to get your mind off of things and give your brain that little break so that you can regroup and move on with the other things that you have to do in life. And the courts look at this through the eyes of the child, right? Is this in the best interest of your child? Is this in the best interest of your case? Maybe ask yourself that before you hit enter or send on that social media post. Before you post it, say, is this going to help my case? Right? Because it could be, it might not be custody. Maybe it's a support issue. Maybe you're posting about, you know, oh, well, look how much money I just made. Right. And there's an issue of support and you're fighting over support. And now we have evidence that you were working and you said you weren't working or that you come into some kind of funds. Um, so just be very careful and ask yourself, is this in my best interest to post this? Is this in my child's best interest to post this? And that brings us also to celebrity divorces. Right. So some people are not able to control everything that's online that's about their personal home life. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that you can control. If you would like to keep your court case private, then try to mediate behind closed doors with a private mediator so that it's no longer discoverable. Like we've mentioned, we're not all Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Right. And I know it's been several years since they were divorced, but anything that you file with the court is, is usually public knowledge now. I mean, anyone can discover that. And so it's important for you to keep private what you would like to keep private and keep that in your control as well. Absolutely. And if mediation is something that you think might work for you and your significant other, you know, we encourage uh, people to seek that out. Um, it's a good way. It's a cost effective way of resolving those disputes. Sometimes mediation won't work if there's true domestic violence involved. But in those cases, you know, it's just more important to keep those feelings at bay. Mediation is fabulous for a lot of areas, not just custody, but for all aspects of your case, you could try to mediate it. There's also private judging mm -hmm. and private judges also there, it still becomes discoverable, but through a private judge, you're not necessarily going into the public court. So some things, it's a little bit more relaxed, you could say. Yes. And possibly ways of working things out um, a little faster in your case. So. so if you find yourself in a situation where the other person is posting against you, save it, mm -hmm. <laughs> save all the evidence, download the videos, take screenshots, because what we're trying to, I guess, warn others about right now, you can also use in your favor in your own case. If, if you're the person who's being spoken about on social media, mm -hmm. um, just make sure that you save that information so that it can be used as evidence. Absolutely. Yes. And with that, if you have any questions and you would like to schedule a consultation with our firm, feel free to contact us. Until next time, this is Sweet Divorce. In the silence of the night.